Whether you're getting a new puppy, adult, senior, or just looking to provide your canine companion with a better diet, there can be a lot of questions around feeding. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about making the decisions you can make when it comes to feeding your German Shepherd. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about German Shepherds, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect German Shepherds. So if you're a lifelong German Shepherd lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new German Shepherd, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll go over everything you need to know when it comes to feeding your German Shepherd. Feeding your German Shepherd appropriately depends on several factors like their age, activity level and type of diet you're feeding them. If you're feeding commercial dog food you'll want to get the type that's appropriate for your German Shepherd's age and weight. You'll find large breed puppy, adult and senior foods readily available from most brands carried in pet stores and online retailers. If you've just brought your new canine companion home, it's best to get the same food that they've been eating and gradually switch them to a different diet or brand over several weeks to avoid upset stomachs. The same thing goes for switching to a new diet or brand at any point in your canine's life. Work the new food in gradually until they're entirely on the new food. The next thing to consider is their activity level. Commercial dog foods have nutrition labels and suggest feeding amounts based on the dog's weight. Most commercial dog foods will recommend about four cups a day for an 80 pound canine, but each brand is going to be a little different based on the nutritional density. You'll want to use this as a starting point and adjust the amount of food up or down based on how active your German Shepherd is. By paying attention to their body condition, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if they need more or less food. The breed isn't prone to obesity because of their high energy level, though you'll want to make sure they stay trim to avoid any extra weight on their joints. We've talked about commercial dog food so far, also known as kibble, and I just want to take a second here to mention that there are other options. We love the raw diet here at Fenrir, but we know it's not right for every home or canine. If you want to learn more, we have an entire course dedicated to teaching you everything you want to know about feeding a completely raw diet. If you're not ready to go down that route, know that you can easily supplement your commercial dog food with some raw ingredients. For example, some people like to feed half the recommended kibble and supplement with a couple of fresh eggs at each meal to help reduce shedding. Some people prefer to add salmon oil or other supplements to their German Shepherd's commercial food for joint protection, bone density, allergies, shedding and other health factors. While others prefer grain-free, limited ingredient or potato-free, it's best to enlist the help of your vet or a canine nutritionist to make sure your German Shepherd is still getting all the right nutrients and protein that they need. No matter what diet you're feeding your German Shepherd, deciding how often to feed them is your next decision. For large breeds like the German Shepherd, it's recommended that you split their total food for the day at least two meals. This helps their stomach digest the food better by having a higher acid to food ratio and keeps the stomach from overproducing acid to cope with a large amount of dry food and helps to prevent bloat which can be fatal. Both large breeds and fast eaters can also benefit from feeding two or even three times a day along with adding water or broth to the kibble. The added liquid can slow down their eating pace or you could also purchase a slow feeder bowl or foraging mat. Slow feeders look a bit like a maze with rigid ridges in patterns that force the canine to use their tongue to grab a few bits of kibble and chew before going back for more. Foraging mats are similar but are made of soft tassels and plush material that your canine has to sniff under and around to try and find their dry bit of food bit by bit. They have the added benefit of being simple brain games that allow your German Shepherd to use their powerful sense of smell. Feeding your German Shepherd doesn't have to be complicated but you should consider all the feeding options out there and talk with your vet about the best diet for your canine companion. Checking in with your vet or canine nutritionist has the added benefit of using their scale to see exactly how your German Shepherd's weight has changed relative to their body condition. Just like with us, weight gain or loss can happen slowly enough that we don't notice a difference between one day and the next. Remember to consult with the experts if you have questions or concerns and be wary of fad diets because those exist for canines too. 
With the right diet and feeding routine, you'll have a very happy and a healthy German Shepherd bringing love into your home every day. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated German Shepherd videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German Shepherd channel.